This photo was kindly sent to me by uh, Dennis. It's um, College Cove, not far from where he lives. Um, obviously a very lucky man, much better views than what I get here in Birmingham. Got some nice reflections here in the water and you see how the, uh, the surf coming in. We'll try and do that with the rigger. It should work well. Taking the paint off with the rigger brush in the dark reflections, it should bring this surf a little bit out quite well. So I'll see how we get on. The um, palettes, uh, I'll try and get, I mean, I'm almost out of blue here. I'm waiting for a delivery, so I'll see how I'll just have to make the most of what I've got there. Um, I don't think I'm going to use all these. I've got the got them really if I need them. Lemon yellow, ultramarine, um, Pines grey, alizarin crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber, and light red. Um, I finally bought another ache. And this is um, this is the first new ache I've bought since I started painting. And I can see now what people were saying about your my hairs are so much shorter. And I never even realised I'd lost so much hair on it. It's almost half the uh, the length of the uh, the new one. Because all I'd ever done was cut the uh, the handle off so I could fit it in my bag. But it's exactly the same brush, just well worn. And I've always got the other two brushes, a three quarter inch flat and a number th number three rigger. Got the water jar there. Paper, tissue if I ever need it. The usual Cutman watercolours I use. Um, 15 by 11 Fabriano watercolour paper clipped to a 9mm piece of plywood. So I'll grab the new brush and see how I get on. So I'll just have a quick look at the photo again before we start. So I'm just going to start off. Giving the uh, paper a good soak. It's a bit crinkly because uh, this is. I tried one on the other side yesterday, but I don't like it, so I'm, uh, I abandoned that one. So this is clear water with the um, the large large egg brush, and then I'm going to go a bit of raw sienna. All the way down to the bottom. And clean the brush. And I'm going to go ultramarine. And so I'm trying to get, I'm struggling a bit to get a bit of colour on the brush, but I'll see how I get on. It's, um, it's not too bad. I might. Mix up the top. So I'll keep the um, I think I'll keep the sky. Now I'm going to put a bit of Payne's grey in it. I think try and darken it a bit. Not too much in the sky area. I was wondering whether to try and get some light down the middle. Um, if I just, I just brush it in like that. more stronger paint. What I have noticed is the uh, the extra amount of water it holds. Obviously with the the, the hair is now twice as long it's got extra a lot more water in it and I'm uh, I'd got used to obviously over time I'd had that other brush about six years and I got that used to it. See this one's twice as long, so it's holding twice as much water. Um, so that's the sort of background in. I'm just going to pull this flat. It stretched slightly. So now it's flat. What I'm going to do now is start on the uh, the furthest hill. So I'm just dipping the tips in just to bring all the ears back together. And I'm going to get 
Ultramarine Pines Grey. And then put this first hill in. Now work out where the horizon is going to be about something like there. So I'm going up there like so. Something like that. And it sort of comes down like, like that. And then obviously the paper's still wet so I can just go straight in with the reflections. Now there's the hill is next to it actually. I'll just put the uh, put some little trees up there anyway. Just using the very corner of the brush and then not forgetting the reflections down there. Only subtle. And I'm just going to I'll just switch to the rigger into the same colours but not too much water I'm just going to put in just a, just a very faint trunks going up there and then just very, actually no I'm going to bother with the bottom bit so the next one on the left is say that's even stronger. I'm going to go now. Stronger still. In fact, what I might do? Can I? No, I'm not going to do that. So back into the two colours. Nice and strong. And then we've got like a little humpy bit there. All down the reflections as I'm doing them. And this bit sort of goes up. And down. down there. Just leveling that off. And then. So the paper's starting to dry now, so I haven't got, got quite the uh, the soft edges I have over there, but not so worry, it doesn't matter. And what I might do is just switch to the uh, three quarter inch flat, go back into these same same two colours. Put in a few of the uh, the little the little rocks dotted around. And there's another one down there. A bit more pines. I don't think I would have preferred it a bit darker. Um, hang on, I'll work some out in a minute. So I'm just going to dip the tips in just to wet the brush a bit and then back into these two colours again. I just want to try and put the scene a bit darker, so I'm going to make sure the uh, the hair, I've got a chisel edge. I'm just going to work my horizon line. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to sort of, from here, and then sort of start horizontal, and then sort of keeping that as the point each time, and then go off on a diagonal. I'm not explaining it very well, but I don't, I don't even know if I'm going to actually improve on this or make it worse. Or what. Let's just see what it turns out like. Does that look like so?
And I'm just going to use the rigger afterwards to try and take some more of this off. I'm not quite sure how that's, how that's looking. I don't want to go over that reflection too much. It would have helped if I just got the thing in nice and dark to start with. But that's one of the problems when you try and paint without without paint. If I uh, if I did that a quick dry, one hand and then a piece of tissue in the other. I'm going to start at the front here. Not sure how this is going to look. I'll start actually I'll start over here. And I'm trying to sort of replicate the effect. Surf at the front. Surf over there. I can give it a bit of practice at this. Very rarely painted the sea like this anyway. I'm just going to switch to the. Uh, I, can't, I just can't quite get the what I'm, the effect I'm after. I'm going to switch to the three quarter inch flat and try and take off a lot more of the water. Let me see what that looks like. Just experimented now really. Almost aborted this one. I'm really not happy with it, but just see what it looks like now. And
so it would have helped if I'd have got this on nice and dark to start with but I've got it on too light then I've tried to darken it now I'm trying to lighten it and I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing there to be honest with you I'm just just hitting the paper trying to get something that looks Anything like the sea. I'm not sure. What I might do is a nice dry brush and just wax them in from this side. See what that looks like. Yeah, I think this is the definition of. Um, Overworking it. I'm going to try and do that reflection again. I'll get away with it. I've messed up the reflection down the middle so I'm just going to try and put that in there. If I can try and get the same sort of colour. And you've got the trees on the top. I can't bother with the trees, I'll just see if I can get the main, the main shape. Again with this. And then what I sometimes do is give that a quick draw. Sometimes what I'll do, if, 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 if I do a painting that I think it's a bit crap, I'll just whack some figures in it, try and take the viewer's, viewer's eye off it. So I'm just going into the rigger, same two colours again. And then pick a, a line, where should, where should we... Um, Where's the figure's going to go? Something like. So I'd have them about there, but this is too dark now, it's not going to stand out. I think the heads would be about there. And then. Walking along the beach. Come on, like that. I'm getting a bit darker. And then another one. Another one just uh, to 
the right. Have a folded hands. Which way is the sun giving? So the light's coming over there, so we just put like a sort of shadow, and it works out as footsteps and few footsteps and a bit of this and that and then I'm also going to put a bigger one As long as the heads are about the same height, it'll it'll look sort of roughly right. And then this one should be sort of walking his little dog. Come on the beach. Another one. Let's have an exercise in painting figures. Nice and dark. The darker you can get it, the more it looks like a sort of silhouette. And then say, so, uh, in fact, let's do one with a hike. Do a figure with a hike. Same colours. Now this one's going to be really close now. Want it nice and dark. Ultramarine. Payne's grey. And then this one's going to go somewhere about there. There's the red. Nice and dark, and then you've got your shoulders. And then a bit higher. Might as well do these, a dog as well, I think. Back to the rigger. And you've got like a lead. And then dog. There's his head. Tail sticking up. Couple of legs. And again, a little bit flexion or. Whatever you want it to be. Like I say, at this stage you just end up experimenting. How's that looking? Um, I think I'll leave it at that for now. Signature down there. So it's, it's not exactly how I was planning it on working out, but it's, it's uh, hang on, I'll give it a quick draw and see what it looks like.
Well there's the uh, final effort. Let's do a quick comparison with the uh, photograph. I think where I went wrong I should have painted this in a lot darker because then it would have brought up the um, the white of the surf and the waves. A lot. It would have been a lot easier by taking the paint off with the rigger. See as it was. I had to sort of make it darker then because I put it on too light in trying to make it darker I sort of lost the uh, the effect of it so like I said often sometimes if, if I'm not happy with the painting I'll just try and put a few figures in then just to take the, uh, the viewers eye from the from the rubbish bit and just to give them something to think about it also helps add a bit of life to the thing and then you can create some quite dramatic effects really with the with the shadows and the sort of light source coming down there. So it could have been a lot better, but I, I might just have rescued it. I don't know. But anyway, thanks thanks for watching. Thanks again to Dennis for the uh, the source photos. Um, much appreciated. Keep practicing. And I'll see you again soon.